China lifted most of the COVID restrictions and reopened its borders on January the 8th this year. For many, this is a welcome sign. But for some, particularly those in the West, it's a sudden move that China seemed ill-prepared for. But the Chinese government says the softening of restrictions hasn't come all of a sudden. It's a gradual process based on scientific evaluation, and the country is prepared. Since last June, China has continually implemented measures to shorten quarantine times for inbound travelers. But that was followed by some additional travel restrictions placed on arrivals from China by several countries, including the U.S., South Korea and Japan, citing a possible infection surge and the potential of new variants. However, a leading spokesman for the global airline industry pointed out that such restrictions are groundless scientifically. If you talk to epidemiologists, uh, medical experts, if you look at the recommendations from the World Health Organization, uh, none of these uh, groups are recommending the reinstatement of testing as a means to, to control or prevent the transmission of coronavirus. Meanwhile, data from China's CDC shows that the prevalent variants of Omicron in China are BA.5.2 and BF.7. Experts say those variants had already spread in other countries and all of the new variants were first detected in other countries. So there's no reason to think that, that more dangerous viruses are going to come out from China. China also keeps sharing information on the new variants with the world. Data from the Chinese CDC shows neither XBB subvariant or BQ.1 is the prevalent variant in China. Based on the current situation, both BQ and XBB mutations fall under the Omicron variant. The risk of further outbreaks in such a short time is relatively low. Even though China has reopened its borders, the country is still making great epidemic prevention and control efforts, including monitoring of any variants, boosting vaccination, and treating the infected.